a while. You like big time attention getting perfumes? Perfumes that are gonna get you a lot of attention? Watch this video. Let's go. That's an attention getter. Right, people we have a lot of fragrances to get to there are 55 total all right so we're gonna do this quick um look it if you're the type of person who loves attention specifically from your scent uh in terms of fragrance you need to watch this video if you like turning heads every single one of these all 55 are 100 guaranteed to do so all right Believe me, it doesn't get any better than this when it comes to head turning attention getting fragrances. We're gonna start right out at number 55. This is coming out of the house of Lubin. I do the Lubin. Uh, basically, really quickly, I'm literally gonna get through this at warp speed. What you have right here is a very boozy rum fragrance with uh, some vanilla, uh, a little bit of orange in there. You're gonna have some sugar cane, leather, and very, very smoky incredible and it is guaranteed to turn heads that's at number 55 next stop is 54. this is coming out of the house of zerjoff fatal charm another spicy incredible flavor that is gonna again turn heads all right moving on number 53 profumum roma Ambra Aurea, second best, second or third best amber fragrance on terra firma, bar none. Ambra Aurea, Profumum Roma. Attention, everybody. 52, from the house of Sospero. Duetto, another monstrosity, really hardcore oud, um, another one that's very, very powerful, okay? That is at number 52. Next up is 51. Attention, everybody. And this is coming out of the house of Man Sarah. Monstrosity, wild leather. Um, all right, something real quick to keep in mind. I neglected to mention this and I'm sorry. Um, these fragrances are gonna turn heads, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are um, extremely powerful. Although most of these are, that is not the reason they turn heads. They turn heads strictly because of their uniqueness. Nothing else smells like these fragrances out there. Believe me. Anyway, hardcore leather, wicked hardcore, and powerful as hell. Wild Leather Man Sarah. That's a 51. Next up is 50. Attention, everybody. All right. Number 50 is coming out of the house of uh, Guerlain. I don't even know how to explain this one. This is another uh, very warm, spicy uh, oud fragrance, and it does get smoky with myrrh. Um, another note that's in here that's going to catch you off guard is bay leaf. Incredible. 50. Songe d'un bois de thé. Attention, everybody. 49. Royal Crown, Za. Another spicy fragrance with some woods and magnolia. Um, gonna be real, in the top of this fragrance, really hardcore citrus and spices. It's incredible and it lasts forever. Big time head turner, Za. 48. Attention, everybody. This is coming out of the house of Zerjoff. Man luck. Honey bomb. Done. Done. Absolutely incredible. Powerful, long lasting, and yes, it will turn heads. Guaranteed. Attention, everybody. 47. 
You all know it from the house of MFK. Oud Satin Mood, all right? Um, Rose Oud Combo. Incredible. Again, you all know it. If you don't, go ahead and, and, and sample it. Get a, get a bottle. Do whatever, do whatever you got to do. But this, again, guaranteed to turn heads. 46 is next. Attention, everybody. All right. This is coming out of the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Big time head turner right here. Expensive as hell, but worth it in my opinion. Tab it. Absolutely insane. Garen freaking T. All right. You're going to be turning heads like Reagan on the friggin' Exorcist. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself. This is a, a, a tropical fragrance, but it has peaches in it, a little bit of cotton candy, coconut, some sand. It's going to have a lot of a, 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 a mishmash of notes in there, but it's, it's freaking phenomenal, all right? And very, very powerful. Definite head turner. Tab it from Tiziana Terenzi. Next. Attention, everybody. This was coming out of the house of uh, Arabian Oud. You all know it. Calumet Black. Extremely powerful. Extremely spicy. Now, I heard. This is the bottle, the original formulation. And there's still roughly half of it left. I heard that the uh, formulation of this is crazy weak. Crazy weak. Don't know why. Doesn't really matter to me. I got the original. There's a ton left. This is extremely powerful and again will turn heads. Calumet Black. Moving on. Attention, everybody. All right. This is coming out of the house of um, Histoire d'Or. Ete Indien. Let me tell you something. Any of out there who like powdery fragrances, you need to get your hands on this. This is by far the most powdery fragrance I've ever sniffed in my life. Extremely powdery. But damn, does it smell good. Very unique. Smells like nothing else out there. Guaranteed, again, to turn heads. Et to Indien from Histoire d'Or. Attention, everybody. Next up is from Montal. Again, you all know it. You like coffee and roses? Boom. There you are. Done. Ristretto Intense Cafe. And that's it. It's all in the name. Intense coffee, intense roses, intensely powerful, and it will turn heads. It's done so. Trust me on that one. Moving on. Attention, everybody. Next up, from Mancera, Black Prestigium. I reviewed it. Go check it out. Definitely a head turner. You will be surprised how many heads this turns. All right? Moving on. Attention, everybody. Number 41. Of my head turning his fragrances is another one out of Mancera. Red tobacco. You guys already know how powerful this is. I don't have to say a damn word. You already know about it, all right? You like tobacco in your fragrances. Again, this has not only been reviewed to death, but if you look on my past videos, you're going to see it because it is amazing and a definite head turner. Red tobacco, Mancera. Attention, everybody. 40. Again, I feature this. You know it. Parfums de Mali, Delina Exclusive. Just an incredible fruity floral that is going to blow the socks off your feet and blow your head away. This is a monster. Done. Delina Exclusive, Parfums de Mali. Attention, everybody. 39. Zerjoff. Another floral oud monstrosity. Done. Head turner, you better believe it. And powerful as hell. Once again, more than words. 38. Attention, everybody. Inicio Parfum. Oud for greatness. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Powerful as hell. You smell nothing like it. Very, very unique. Head turning capabilities off the charts. Once again, Inicio Parfum. Oud for greatness. Attention, everybody. Nashani Istanbul. Here comes the dislikes. Hasavat. All right. I'm not even going to get into the, you know, I'm not even going to get into it with regard to 
event. I'm not, I'm just not going to do it. Forget it. This is his own man. This is his own monster. Pineapple bomb, a little bit smoky, uh, absolutely incredible, and it will turn heads. The shiny Istanbul has a vibe. Attention, everybody. Next, Roger Dove. Fetish. Done. Powerful leather. One of the most powerful leathers ever. Okay? And it's 25 hours on your skin. Trust me. Don't believe me? Try it for yourself. This lasts all freaking day. A full day. Fetish from Roger Dove. Moving on. Attention, everybody. 35. Ever wonder what a, uh, the habitat smells like for this creature right here? For the panda, there you go. Namesake, panda. Done. Extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. Very, very unique. This will turn heads. Attention, big time. You want attention? Grab yourself this baby right here. Guaranteed. All your money back. Moving on. Attention, everybody. Moving on to the next. This is coming out of the House of Parfums, the Mali once again. Godolphin. Another leather powerhouse. Very unique. However, a lot of people say it smells like Tuscan leather. Some people even say this is what Tuscan leather should have been. You get it yourself, you decide. I don't care anything about the political crap. All I know is it smells good, it's powerful, and it will turn heads. Parfums de Mali, Godolphin. Moving on. Attention, everybody. Next up is 33. Me and Sarah, Pearl. Another monster. Definite. I wore this to the gym. It was just before the pandemic went ape shit and uh, before the gyms and everything else started closing down. I think it was back in like February, um, maybe January. Um, World to the gym, a couple of you know people came up to me and said, you know, you got to tell me what the name of that fragrance is. Amazing. This one is a definite head turner. And again, powerful as hell. Pearl, me and Sarah. 32 is next. Attention, everybody. This is fire in a bottle. Like I said before, a volcano in a bottle. Orto Parisi. Teroni. Fire in a bottle, guys. That's it. That's all you need to hear. Done. You want to know what fire smells like? Fire and brimstone? A volcano erupting? Lava? Magma? Everywhere? Smoke? Ash? Boom. There it is. Teroni from Orto Parisi. A monstrosity and a definite head turner. Moving on. Everybody. Next up, you don't hear much about this at all. This is a freaking incredible fragrance. Absolutely incredible and definitely a head turner. From more to say of the Victorious, this is ardent. Man, this is the type of rose that you have wet dreams over. Done. Absolute head turner, ardent. Moving on. Everybody. Next up, 30. Diptyque. Almost never hear about this one. Good luck trying to find this one. Almost never hear about this one. Don't know why. It's amazing. L'ombre dans le. All I can tell you about this, guys, is if you like black currant and roses, get it. Because it is a monster. And a head turner, yeah, you better believe it. Will turn heads big time. Rip them right off. L'ombre dans le from Diptyque, 29. Everybody. I am so in love with this house, man. I'm telling you. BDK, the best by far rose tobacco combination on terra firma. And maybe even the whole alpha quadrant. Absolutely incredible. Powerful, very different, really big time head turner. Tabak Rose from BDK. Attention, everybody. 28. Let me tell you something. I'm chewing gum. Sorry. You're going to be wicked hard pressed to find any sandalwood fragrance more powerful than this monstrosity right here. And it, again, I know I sound, you know, redundant and repetitive, but it will turn heads like you read about. Santal 33 from the house. Of Lalabo, monster, absolute freaking monster. You want sandalwood? There you go, right there. 
Head turner, you better believe it. Kill people. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Santa 33, a monster. Done. Attention, everybody. 27th, most attention getting fragrance on the planet. Amouage Opus 6. Spicy. Man, I, mm, man, this is so good. I reviewed it. You want to know what it smells like, what it does? I reviewed it. Check out my videos. Do a search on my channel for Opus 6. Incredible. Attention, everybody. Next up. This is coming out of the house of uh, Amouage again. Ashy. Powerful. Myths, man. <laughs> you don't know power like this, people. You know, I mean, this is going to knock people's socks off. I'm incredible. Just an ashy monstrosity right here. All right? Miss man. Next. Attention, everybody. More controversy. I don't know why people get so political with fragrances. I have no idea. But I don't even care about that. I laugh at it. I just do my thing. Here you go. Coming out of the house of Creed. The only Creed, in my opinion, worth owning. Royal Oud. Absolutely incredible. I've not smelled an Oud like this one before. All right? Um, this is very powerful. Unlike most Creeds, this one is powerful. It does last pretty long. I get about eight to nine hours on my skin. And it's very, very spicy. A very spicy Oud. Very long lasting. Very unique. And it will turn heads. Everybody. Another Amouage Fate Man. All you have to do is look in the comment section of either this video or any video for that matter that talks about this monstrosity right here, this spicy monstrosity, and you're going to find out everything you need to know about how unique it is and how it will turn heads. One thing of note, like I always say when I drop this in front of the camera, if you don't like cumin, stop the tape. Don't buy it, you'll kill yourself. Fate Man, I think it smells fantastic though, but that's me. And it will turn heads. Moving on. Attention, everybody. This has a distinction, as noted in my uh, most animalic uh, fragrances video. This has a distinction of being the most animalic fragrance I have ever smelled in my life. If you like it animalic, you're going to love the head turning monstrosity that is. Mayfair from the house of Bordesea the Victorious. Absolutely incredible. Not only is it powerful, but again, extremely animalic. You want to turn heads, spray it on. Oh, one word of note. Any more than two sprays, bleh, people die. Moving on. Attention, everybody. Once again, that was Mayfair, in case you missed it. All right, this one everybody knows. Frederick Mal, Musk. Ravageur, original formulation. I heard that the new formulate, actually, I, I know for a fact it's been reformulated. Um, it smells a little bit different. This one, which is the original, is uh, it smells different and it's a little bit more powerful. Both versions will turn heads, rest assured. Moving on. Attention, everybody. All right, this one. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is the reigning Amber Champion. No other amber fragrance touches this. You will not find it. If you do, be prepared to be spending some serious, serious cake. Tom Ford. Amber Absolute. Smoky amber with vanilla. Done. Okay? Good luck trying to find it. If you can, get it. Unless, of course, you don't want to spend like, you know, a splazillion dollars on something that's only like, a, you know... Uh, is only a perfume, and I, I, I get it, trust me, I get it, but I got mine, amazing, amazing Amber, Amber Absolute Tom Ford. Attention, everybody. 21, Christian Dior. Oud Ispahan, done. If you don't know it, the rock that you're living under is, is, is crushing you right now. Get out from underneath it and smell this. Incredible rose root combo. But I know you're going to hear that a lot. Rosewood combo. But they're all different. Believe me. Udis Behan is a powerful bastard and it will turn heads bigger than time. Christian Dior. Moving on. Attention, everybody. This one is coming out of the house of... I know you'd be shocked if you didn't see at least one or two from this house. And here you go. 
from zoologist, the monster, I like to call it the giant squid, okay, very inky, very aquatic, um, but like a, a, a thick aquatic, amazing, head turner, bet your ass on that boy, big time head turner, smells so freaking good, uniqueness factor, this is to a roof, absolutely incredible, again, you like to turn heads, there you go right there, moving on, Attention, everybody. 19, from the house of Saud, another monstrosity, apricot bomb, spicy apricot bomb, nerd, okay, I've had this bottle for years, and look at the level, because simply put, it's a monstrosity, very long lasting fragrance, it's incredible, and again, extremely unique, extremely. Attention, everybody. Next up is number 17, and this is coming out of the house of uh, Byredo. Um, I said this before, and I actually think I reviewed it. Uh, this is another monstrosity, very, very unique, very attention grabbing. 1996 Inez and Renewed. Um, I think the packaging is different now. Um, I don't think it has the uh, Inez and Renewed, and I think uh, Byredo uh, eliminates the parfum um, in its name. Uh, be that as it may, uh, if you if you watch my review, you'll you'll know what it smells like. If you don't, let me give you a quick rundown. Books and booze done. Attention, everybody. Moving on to sixteen. This is coming out of the house of Profumum Roma. This is a head turning monster. As a matter of fact, let me take the cap off and sniff it. Jesus H Christ, incredible. Um, Volo AZ six eight six. Uh, smells like a uh, tropical island uh, with airplanes on the adjacent tarmac with engines on full throttle, all right? Uh, coconut, suntan uh, oil with jet fuel, right? And now you know why it turns heads. Oh, and by the way, again, if you missed my review, incredibly powerful. Again, I've had this fragrance for years, roughly half of it missing because it's a monster. Volo AZ-686. From Profumum Roma. Attention, everybody. 15. Zoologist. Boom. You ever wonder what a bat's environment smells like? Smell this, done, it's over. Uh, smells like a cave uh, with bats in there without the guano, trust me. And a whole bunch of assorted uh, over-ripened fruit. Head turner, definitely, will grab your attention and anybody else that's around you, probably within 80 or 90 miles. <laughs> Bat, next. Attention, everybody. This is coming out of the house of Zerjoff once again. Very attention grabbing. I'll cut. Holy smoke, let me tell you something. You want to talk about powerful fragrances and very unique the oud in this fragrance will skank you out big time. Alcat from Zerjoff. Attention, everybody. Next up, this beauty, attention grabbing monstrosity is coming out of the house of Nasamato. You all know it. It's the monstrous black Afghano. I don't need to say a damn word, except if you do get this fragrance. Do not get pulled over by the cops because if you do, they're going to swear to God that you've been smoking weed and they're going to have the dogs all over you and making sure you're not, you know, driving while impaired, whatever the hell they do. Anyway, a very spicy, smoky monster with a uh, goodly amount of hemp therein. At least that's what I get. Head turning, absolutely. Black Afghano. Attention, everybody. Next up. This one is coming out of the house of Uncle Serge. I reviewed this one as well. Infantry guys, you know where I'm going with this. It smells like you're on the range in OSUT or boot camp if you're on the Marines or whatever, I don't care. It smells like gunpowder. Gingerbread men and gunpowder. Basically, it smells like gingerbread men came alive and grabbed some weapons, M2s, M16s, 
M60s and started going crazy, blowing away friggin' pop up targets on the range. All right. Baptême de Feu is the Baptême de Feu is the name of this fragrance. Incredible, definite attention grabbing from Uncle Serge. All right. Moving on to MFK again. You want to talk about a honey bomb? Good luck trying to find this one. You're not gonna do it. Absolute pour le soir. I'm gonna milk this for every friggin' ounce that's in there. Every milliliter, I'm gonna milk it because you can't get it again. I don't know why they discontinued it. If they're smart, they'll bring it back because this is a friggin' beauty. Thick with very, very viscous, savory honey, smoky with incense. Um, it's burning. It's got woods in there. The rose is in there, but it's very, very, very much smothered. Head turning monstrosity right here. Again, attention grabber, no question. MFK, absolute peu le soir. And now we are cracking the top 10. Everybody knows this as the blue beast coming out of the house of Amouage. Attention grabber, yeah, it's gonna grab you like a trapdoor spider grabs its prey. <laughs> Interlude Man, one of the most powerful fragrances ever, absolutely incredible, um, and again, you walk into a room and people will look at you, a powerful bastard. This one right here fills ballrooms, amazing, very unique, incredible fragrance. Once again, Interlude Man. Number nine. Montau, Red Oud. <laughs> yep, another powerhouse and unique at the same time. It's cool if you can be unique and, you know, you don't smell like anything else out there. But when you can be unique and powerful, forget about it. That's the recipe right there. Red Oud from Montau. Powerful and very unique. Next up. I like to call this one right here Cotton Candy and Band-Aids Baccarat Rouge 540 What can I say that hasn't already been said A million times before Very powerful Very unique Well not so unique anymore Because everybody in their Uncle Louie is trying to copy it Be that as it may As much as it has been copied It is still a head turner Right? You wear this, people are going to look at you. Attention grabbing, absolutely. MFK, back around News 540. All right? Number seven. U27. Yeah. Again, you know it. When it comes to uniqueness, there you have it. Head turning capabilities into the stratosphere. Incredible. To me, Smells like skanked out great tonic. All right. U27 Lalabo. Number six. If you don't know this one, I don't even, I have nothing for you. LDDM from Andy Tower. Spicy monstrosity. Again, all powerful. Very, very unique. Will turn heads. Okay, again, I, I know I said this in one of my uh, older videos. I remember uh, walking to Epcot in the, in the heat of summer, like it was at night though, but it, you, know, you know in Florida, it's still hot even at night. Walking to Epcot, we just finished watching Illuminations and uh, I walked by this lady and she was like, is that you that smells good? Of course, I, I smiled and I, yeah, you know, she goes, I love that, what is that? I told her, boom, we'll grab attention, we'll turn heads, LDDM from Andy Tower. Moving on. Attention, everybody. To number five. Top five, baby. Again, if you don't know this one, I don't know what to tell you. I've had this for a while and look at the level. It's a monster, literally and figuratively. <laughs> uh, this is T-Rex by Zoologist. Um, again, this is kind of like uh, Taroni. Only amped up about 65, 75 decibels. It's loud. It's wicked loud. Fire, brimstone, 
um, just burning everything. The whole planet is on fire with this one, all right? Um, this smells like the Cretaceous period when those asteroids started hitting. Very powerful, and again, it will turn heads because it is unique. T-Rex zoologist. Next up, the fourth most attention-grabbing fragrance on the planet, or at least in my collection. Bodice of the Victorious Complex. That gets a lot of hate. Um, I absolutely love this fragrance. Um, uh, this is a leather monstrosity right here, all right? Leather and oud. Some people might not like that combination. You're also going to have incense and resin. So it's a very resinous, uh, animalic, musky leather with skanked out oud. It is loud and it will grab attention. Complex by Bodice of the Victorious. Moving on to number three. Attention, everybody. Third most attention grabbing fragrance in my collection. I'm a wash, but people love this on me. And look at that freaking bottle. Figment Man, done. I don't even know how to describe this. I, I did it before. It's wicked hard, but I'll say it. I'm paraphrasing what I said before. Um, hot day out. Wicked hot, like 99 degrees. And it starts to cloud up and rain. When the rain hits the ground and you're sitting somewhere in like a, uh, a, a swampy area and it starts hitting those leaves and dirt and dust, that's what this smells like. Incredible. You want to turn heads? Again, Figment Man. This is your man right here. Attention, everybody. Number two. You guys are probably going to get mad at me because I simply do not know the name of this fragrance. Um, I got it as a sample. I know it is from Arabian Oud. And uh, I believe it's called Arabian Nights. But... The freaking thing looks like Lord Stanley's Cup. All right? If you're hockey fans, NHL fans like me, you'll know what I'm talking about. It looks like the Stanley Cup. Uh, if you look at it, you have to unscrew it, and there's a, a dabber in there. All right? That'll give you an idea, and it's very, very viscous. I mean, it's liquid, but it's like, it's, it's heavy. It's like a big type, a big time oil. And uh, I took this dabber out. About five hours ago when I put literally just one baby drop right here. Just touched it. Put it back in there. It, it filled this whole room with aroma. This, my friends, is authentic oud right here. Authentic oud. I know people give you a hard time when you start talking about oud fragrances from like Montal Man. Say, hey, it's not real oud. They start crying like babies. And that's cool. Again, if it's not real oud. I can tell you right now that this being real oud, and I did smell real oud from a friend of mine um, who uh, lives in um, across the in the Middle East area, and he came back with some oud chips, and it smells just like this. Not only that, but if you look at this fragrance right here, and you take uh, Mansera's oud s, they're literally indistinguishable. Both just as powerful. I didn't put Oud S in this only because it literally is tit for tat, this fragrance. It, it is Oud. Done. Now, if there's no real Oud in Oud S or any of these Oud fragrances, I can tell you that Oud S is the closest to real Oud. It literally smells just like it. I don't know if they put real Oud in it. I don't give a shit. What I can tell you is it smells just like that. And the Oud that my friend bought back from the Middle East. I don't know. Again, I, I think the name of this fragrance is um, uh, Arabian Nights. I, I could be wrong, but again, I, I, I just call it the Stanley Cup. It will turn heads. One drop, it will turn heads and get attention. One drop, like I said, filled this entire friggin' room. Filled it. So you can imagine if you put more than that. I mean, people always talk about, you know... Um, Club fragrances, like the fragrance doesn't know you're in a club. It could, I, I don't even care about that. I, I don't even, I don't subscribe to that. You can wear anything you want to any place you want. But if you do want a powerful fragrance that is going to fill the club, <laughs> this is it right here. And that's why it is the second most attention grabbing fragrance ever. It, again, at least in my collection that I've ever sniffed. And now we're moving on to the big dog. Attention, everybody. 
numero uno. Not only is this fragrance powerful, I don't even know if there's any review on it. I know that um, Sharia uh, reviewed it, I think it was maybe two, three years ago. They deleted the video for some reason, I don't know why. Um, and I think, I think there may be another one. I might review this one. It's incredible. From the House of Man, Sarah, the head turningest fragrance ever, Blue Oud. Now, let me explain something to you right now, all right? I don't know why they call it blue because there's nothing blue about the fragrance. I don't know why they call it Oud because not only is there no Oud in there, there's not even an Oud accord in there. And f furthermore, there's not even any Oud in the no breakdown. It's a very spicy, leathery fragrance with a ton of saffron. And, I, and it's musky and very animalic. The spice is unmistakable. And I think the biggest player in this fragrance is, uh, well, there were two big players, Saffron and Tarragon. My God, you wear this. People are literally going to break their necks to turn around and see, you know, who the hell's wearing this monstrosity right here. Blue Oud from the House of Man Sarah. I know it's hard to get. You cannot get it on any of the web. I think Lotino has it. And I think a couple of those, uh, those other uh, uh, discount websites have it too. Like uh, I think Perfume.com and maybe uh, Fragrance. Fragrant, what, what the hell is that? Damn, I can't remember the name of it. Fragrance X or um, Fragrance Net. There you go. I think they have it. But other than that, good luck trying to find it. Incredible, powerful, um, very, very unique. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the most attention-grabbing fragrances ever. And you're looking at numero uno. My next review is soon. I have several that, I get, that I'm getting ready to pump out. I hope uh, everybody has a great new year. And I hope your Christmas was squared away and all that stuff. I got to go. I'll talk to you later.